Hey guys, today I am coming at you with another haul video. This is my Sephora VIB Rouge sale haul. So I picked up this stuff from Sephora during the weekend when I had 20% off and I've got a lot to show you. So let's get started. I guess we'll start with makeup. This is the Hourglass Foundation Stick. Here's a swatch of this shade. This is this shade Porcelain. I actually went into Sephora and tried this closer to when it came out and I didn't like the way that it blended out on my hand, but I'd heard so many good things about it that I figured I would give it another try. So I bought a tube and I found my perfect way of applying it, which is with a Smith foundation brush. And the combination has been working super well for me. It's really nice, it's very full coverage. I definitely made that mistake when I first went to use it. I kind of just put a bunch of stripes all over my face and it was like an extreme amount of foundation. But even then it didn't look cakey, which is incredible. So I'm a huge fan of that. Also from Hourglass, this is the Incandescent Strobe Light in Ambient. This actually came as part of a set. It was like the Sephora highlighters set or glow set or something. And it came with a few other items, but I don't have the full set with me here in Connecticut. Um, so I'm gonna show you the items from that set that I did buy. I'll link everything in the description below in case you wanna check anything out for yourself. This has been my go-to powder highlighter recently. It's a really beautiful shade. It looks kind of sparkly in the pan, but when you put it on, it's not too glittery at all. It's super finely milled, which is perfect for highlighter. And it's a really, really light color. I've been having trouble with my winter pale skin finding highlighters that aren't too dark or don't come across as like a strip of peach or gold on my cheekbone, but this one's really nice if you have um, fairer skin. I also picked up the Tarte Blush Wheel. I'm a big fan of the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. And I had only tried one shade before I picked up this blush wheel. I think these are all limited edition shades in here, but some of them are really similar to the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Blush Collection. The only complaint I have about this is that the highlighter shade is really glittery. It's kind of like, it's kind of chunky, almost too glittery to use as a highlight. It might make a nice eyeshadow, so I don't think I'll be getting as much use out of the shimmery shades, but the matte shades I'm definitely a big fan of. And this is great to bring on the go if you want a lot of blush options when you're traveling. Next up in the cheek department, I picked up the Tom Ford bronzing powder in the shade Terra. This is a really beautiful bronzer shade. I find that it's it's a it's warm, but it's not orangey warm, which is good if you have fair skin like me. It's more of a reddish brown warmth. So I really enjoy that. I think the shade is super flattering. They do have another shade that's lighter, but it's more um it's definitely a little orangier than than Terra, which is sort of a deeper brown. And I also like the compact that it comes in and that it has a pretty decent sized mirror on the inside too. This next item I was really excited for, this is the uh, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Mad Max Brown. So I've been using the Kat Von D Trooper Liner in the black shade, Trooper is the shade name, right. I've been using the Kat Von D Trooper Liner for a long time, years probably, and it's one of my favorite eyeliners, so I figured I would pick up the brown one and give it a go. It's such a deep brown that it's sometimes hard to tell that it is actually brown and not a black liner, but I think that's kind of a good thing. It's a really subtle look, and it's nice to use on eyeshadow looks that are primarily warm, neutral shades. A brown liner can go really well. I, I find that sometimes a black liner on an all warm brown I can be a little too harsh, so I've been really loving this. Next up, I have a pair of the Algenist Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops. So these came in like a little duo of minis. This is kind of like a multi-use shimmer. I've been using it in multiple ways. One way I like to use it is just spread it all over my face as like a primer and then go over that with my foundation for an all over luminous glow or sometimes I'll just dab a little bit on top of my cheekbones after I've done the rest of my makeup for a highlight or I've been mixing a couple drops in with my foundation. 
So there are lots of ways you can use this. I've even used it as an inner corner highlight. It comes with two shades. One is more of a yellowy gold shade and the other is a lighter pink shade. Also in the highlighting department is the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. I've used this before. This actually came in the same little set that the Hourglass mini strobing highlight came in. If you put this directly on your face, it's definitely a super strong frosty highlight, but it's also super blendable because it's a cream formula and it makes a nice subtle shimmer once it's nicely blended out. And the mini size is great for travel and also you don't technically need a brush to apply it, so that's kind of handy too. One of my favorite new brow discoveries is the Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom. This is a super Stronghold brow gel. Mine's looking a little grim since I've been using it after applying my brow pencil or brow powder, so it it was clear when I got it, but it's a really great brush. The spoolie has a more fine end. Compared to the Anastasia clear brow gel, I definitely prefer this one in terms of its holding power. I haven't ever had a problem with this not holding my brows in place all day, so that is a huge plus in my book. And another brow product that I picked up for the first time to try and have been disappointed with is the Anastasia Brow Definer Pencil. I have the shade Taupe. I've enjoyed using the regular Anastasia Brow Pencil in the past that has like a really fine tip, but I think that the chunky tip on this pencil is a little bit difficult to work with. I find it hard to get a precise line with it and it's a little bit messy for me so I think I might end up returning it in favor of the classic Anastasia Brow Wiz brow pencil. And from one of my favorite eyeshadow brands I picked up the Viseart Theory palette. This is a nice little travel set. It's got three matte shades and three full-size shimmer shades. You're supposed to be able to use this for brows as well as eyeshadow, but I find that for brows these colors are a little too warm for me, or at least the light brown is a little too warm, and then the darker brown is a little too kind of purpley on my brows. I don't know, it might work for some people. And the Viseart formula is definitely good for brows. I use another shade from my Viseart Neutral Matte Palette as one of my favorite brow powders. For eyeshadows, I've had a lot of fun playing around with the colors in this palette, and it also has a magnetic snap closure, which is always fun. This was my first time trying anything by the brand Besame, or Besame? Besame, and this is their Brightening Violet Translucent Powder. So it's like a regular translucent powder that you'd use to set your makeup with, except it has kind of like a purpley violet shade. It comes in this tiny little compact. I like the packaging a lot. It has a screw cap, which makes sense, so you know your powder is super secure if you're gonna travel with this. And you just unscrew the cap. It comes with a little powder puff, which I have to admit I haven't used at all. And then it also has a little plastic cap that flips out to reveal the powder on the inside. So that makes it handy to travel with too, so you don't have loose powder everywhere. And the theory behind the violet tint of this is that it's supposed to be extra brightening on the skin. In the skincare department, I picked up a sunscreen. This is the Algenist Sublime Defense Ultra Lightweight UV Defense Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. This is a nice little sunscreen. It's been my daily go-to sunscreen since I picked it up about a month or two. I think this one I picked up before the VIB sale, actually. About two months ago, and it's been working all right. I can't say that it's that much better than any other sunscreens I've used, and it's a really tiny container. So this isn't gonna last me too long. It's only one ounce. And I think for the price, I could probably find something a little less expensive that functions in the same way. Since I'm currently traveling, the size is actually perfect. And the last item I picked up is a hair care bundle. Living Proof is one of my favorite hair care brands, so I wanted to give their full line a try, and they had a little kit, Living Proof full shampoo and conditioner. These are like little travel size ones. And the full thickening cream. 
which says it is body boosting and volume creating, which is great. So I've been washing and conditioning with these, following up with this, and then it also came with the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast Volume and Texture Spray. So this I'm kind of compared to the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, which is one of my favorite hair products. And this one definitely has some pretty strong volumizing capabilities. I thought it was gonna be a dry shampoo at first. I guess I didn't really read it properly, but. I'm a big fan of the sort of messy, tousled hair look, so this is a perfect product for me. My only complaint is that the shampoo and conditioner have the classic Living Proof scent, which I really like. It's kind of like a spicy, fresh scent. Not super feminine, it's sort of um, an androgynous scent, if that's a word you can use to describe scent. But the full volume dry bra but the full volume dry blast spray actually has a sort of different scent. It's a little more it's kind of fruitier. I was hoping that this would have the same scent as the rest of the living proof things, but to me it smells a little different. So that's just about everything that I got at the VIB Rouge sale. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.